Take a look at this building and notice how difficult it would be to gain exterior access to the roof lights that are furthest from the outer walls, especially on those inner slopes faced with fragile asbestos both sides. Treading on those would be dangerous and against current legislation. Imagine the time and cost required to erect scaffolding, platforms and safety harness systems. Not very cost effective to replace just one roof light. It may be quicker to hire a cherry picker, but it would need a big one and that would be expensive too. And then there's the inside to consider. To reach a roof light safely at that sort of height, it may take too long to build staging economically and you would also need safety netting, especially if others wish to continue working during repairs. So hiring a modest cherry picker is a good option. In fact, this would be the only access equipment required if you choose to use fixed safe roof lights or sheets. These can be installed entirely from below and thus do not require the complication of exterior access. After measuring the old fixings, all are removed safely ensuring that no external pieces can roll off steep pitches. If a roof light is being replaced, you could cut out its centre to retrieve such fixings. Once the old sheet is unfixed, it can be slid down the slope until clear of the overlaps and then retracted into the building. Safely on the floor, it is easy to drill and cut the new sheet to fit. Then insert the new fixed safe downslope fittings, finger tight. Appropriate sealant can be applied to the new sheet and the perimeter of the roof aperture either with a gun or by using the tape method shown here, together with a clear overlay tape that will allow the sealant to slide during positioning and then dissolve later in moisture, allowing the sealant to adhere. Up at the roof, the old aperture is being prepared by cleaning away loose debris and fitting the upslope fixings through the upslope panel and an underlap fixing is placed over the hole above the underlap. The new sheet is then lifted up and through the aperture taking care that there is not too much wind. As the sheet is manoeuvred into the underlap and slid up into a position where all the holes align automatically. To secure the sheet, threaded bars are cut to length and carefully screwed into the fixings that are now captive in the roof sheet. Hooked sleeves are then pushed over the threaded bars and hooked around the purlin so the retaining nuts can be screwed on and tightened. And that's it. And please note that no roofers were harmed during the performance of this task. Despite the fact that we were using one of the largest sizes of sheet and it was fitted at that awkward point just below the roof's ridge. Our roofers can pack away their hand tools quickly. The hire company will collect the cherry picker and there's nothing else to dismantle or clear away.